Hi Leo, welcome to your singles reading for December. Who's coming towards you? This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. This is for singles, or if you are just dating somebody, you're not dating uh, exclusively or committed, their energy may come up or the situation, or it could be somebody totally new here. So my intention with this is to take a look at who may possibly coming towards you, um, what kind of person they are, when, like what time frame of year, where, like under what conditions and how you kind of meet this person, what your advice would be, and then we'll clarify with tarot the whole situation. So hopefully this resonates for you, and I guess um, you wouldn't know if it's somebody new coming into you, but I always say take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. Uh, in any reading, and this is intended for any time you see this, uh, which would be now, even though it is labeled for December, so I do consider all my readings timeless. So this is for now until whenever. So hopefully it'll resonate for you. And uh, we'll see what's going on for you, Leo Singles. So welcome, welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. So we are uh, not quite into Thanksgiving yet. So uh, this probably will be up before Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving. Happy fall. Happy fall. I'll be changing my uh, scenery here to Christmas pretty soon. All right, so let's see what's going on for Leo. A couple signs. Let's get a couple signs to begin with to see who may be coming towards you for Leo singles. Oh, we got these two right here. Let's see what we have. We have Jupiter, which is Sagittarius. Some could have a Sagittarius coming towards them. And now we have Saturn, which is Capricorn. So we have Sagittarius and we have Capricorn. Now, Jupiter energy is about luck, expansion, uh, faith, hope, optimism, spirituality, joy, prosperity. But then the Saturn energy is about ambitions, um, goals, security, um, lessons and challenges. So I don't know, we'll see, um, may not play into this. It just could be, you know, Sag cat. So we got fellow fire or earth possibly, or they could have it somewhere in their chart possibly, or this could be one person with both signs in their chart. So, and I just see here, Jupiter is 18, Saturn is 19. So those funny, funny how they both fell out that way. All right, so let's take a look at uh, who this person is that may be coming towards you. What is their energy like? Who is this person that may be coming into Leo's here? Single Leo's, wondering who is this person and what is their energy? So who is this person, Spirit, please, coming into Leo, possibly coming into Leo? What is their energy like? So, <laughs> so this says you have what it takes and only if you only believe in yourself, thinking that you're powerless when you're not, a lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. So this could be a person that could be a lot of a little bit, if you already know this person, I feel, but you're not in a relationship or you're not committed, maybe you're just friends or you kind of know them, I feel like they may be a little blocked off right now uh, from being in a relationship. They feel a little trapped, mentally trapped, closed, blocked off, maybe just a love in general or to be in a relationship kind of energy. You see this man or woman, doesn't matter, kind of floating on their own little iceberg here, just like in their own little world. So, hmm. so I, for some of you that already know somebody, I feel like they're a little blocked and closed off. They feel trapped in their head, maybe closed off to new love or new relationships. Oh boy. So let's see uh, when, when. Well, that is funny here. So now we have Sagittarius energy, which is Jupiter here, Sagittarius. So that would be Sagittarius season, which we are in Sagittarius season right now. So it could be within the next month here. Hmm. So it could be a Sagittarius. Maybe you already know them, but now they're balancing themselves out and maybe now they're ready. It's like, you see, it almost looks like blood coming out of the lion's mouth. And that's so funny because that would be Leo right there. Wow. So... They may have been closed off at one time, but now maybe they've, they've bled out all that hurt, that pain that caused them to be um, 
blocked off and balance, you know, is all about that temperance energy is all about balance, peace, harmony, um, patience. Maybe you've been patient waiting for this person also. Hmm. Okay, so that is definitely Sagittarius energy and we are in Sagittarius season right now. So that's the time frame is like now, like next month, within the next, this month. All right, so let's look at um, like where. Okay, so it could be uh, somewhere outside near water. It could be at a get-together, a function, an outing at the park. Um, you could be out celebrating. Um, you could be at a wedding. You could be at a graduation or something where it's celebratory, a gathering of some kind. It could be inside. It could be outside. I mean, we do have out. It could be inside near water. Or it could be outside um, if you're in a warm climate. Um, so this is based on, um, well, we're in Sagittarius season now. Some people question like the, t the time frame if you're in the part of the country where uh, you're going into summer, like Australia. But um, if I say summer, then I mean whenever it's like summer for you. So, but right now we're talking about Sagittarius season, which is right now. And it's some kind of uh, function here. I'm going to say a function, um, a get-together, a gathering. Could be anything. A ceremony. Could be outside. Could be inside near water here. And that's how you come across this person. So let's see how. Like that's the where. So some sort of gathering function or something like that. I mean, it could be... Um, Christmas party. We are coming into the season where there's Christmas parties. So let's see how. Wow, we got Sagittarius again. Heavy Sagittarius here. So we have the wheel. So this is going to be unexpected. They may come and talk to you unexpectedly. <laughs> the wheel of fortune here. The wheel is something unexpected, something coming in uh, delay it says delays are over sudden or an unexpected good luck or something like that. So I feel like if you know this person and you see them, like if you go to a gathering, uh, you know, they're going to be somewhere where you're going, where there's a function or something like that. I think they're going to unexpectedly come talk to you. Like they're going to see you and they're just going to come talk to you and it's going to be unexpected. Or you're going to see them unexpectedly. And maybe just run into each other. Hmm, okay. So, so what will happen here in this connection? So if you now connect with this person, I feel like things, I mean, we do have things balancing out. You know, things could have been closed off before, but we have things balancing out. People celebrating, having a good time, things going in a better direction. So things getting better here, going going from this closed off energy, cold energy, to a much better, to cold, to warm, warm energy. So I feel like some of you may not already know this person. Or if this person, if you don't know them, is somebody new coming into you, you may not know anything about them. Just know that they may have been closed off and blocked off from love relationships, but now, you know, they're balanced. They've worked things out. They're in a much warmer energy now, not such a cold energy, and they're ready for fate and destiny and things to go in a better direction. So just know that. And we have um, 10 there with the wheel, which is about endings, but then there's always a new beginning. So they may have just come uh, out of a situation. Okay, so, and it might have been like last winter, maybe they've been through something and it's taken them all this time, like almost a year to um, work through it. Now they're ready. So what kind of connection will this be with this person? You come together. The wheel of fate and destiny is here. So I feel like this is something faded, something meant to be. All right, so what do we have here? Helpful person. Someone wants to help you think of whom that may be and initiate contact. Wow, and I had said that. I feel like they're going to initiate contact. And you do see, again, people coming together. There's three people here and there's three people here. So it's like 
I'm not getting like third party. I mean, there could have been, if you know this person, maybe they were in a third party situation before, but I feel like that's over. Because I do feel like it's somewhere where it's an event or something or a gathering and you unexpectedly run into this person. And either you or them initiate contact unexpectedly or just bump into them unexpectedly. Wow. It does say helpful person. So, you know, maybe you see them, they see you and they ask somebody, hey, you know, can you go talk to them, find out what's going on with them? Are they single? Are they with anybody? You know, that kind of energy. So that may also be how uh, this um, connection gets rolling, <laughs> rolling with the wheel. <laughs> All right. So let's get your advice, Leo. Let's get Leo some advice with this connection. Let's get Leo some advice for this connection. We have a card of advice for Leo with this connection, with this new person coming in. May not be new, could be somebody you already know, but it just could be a new turn of events, new, um, new direction this is going. So we have nurture yourself first. So it could be that, you know, if you did know this person before and maybe you spent a lot of time, you know, thinking about them, thinking about the connection and, you know, but being apart from them, uh, the same, you know, just to nurture yourself, do what you need to do, take care of yourself. And don't forget if you, you know, have a quick, because a wheel, I mean, this could move very quickly not to neglect yourself to take care of yourself also because you can't fill someone else's cup if your cup is empty as they say so things may move very quickly now because you see this these two it's just like a blur so make sure to take care of yourself also in this connection all right so let's get uh tarot here so this is a sexual magic tarot so i just want to warn you if you're under 18 you may not want to be watching and uh, if sexual content or images female nudity from the waist up there's some sexual images offend you most people are familiar with this deck I just want to warn you ahead of time so I do ask Leo if you do like my style how I read if you're new please do like share subscribe comment I do um, four readings a month they're all different so don't miss out on that hit the bell you'll be notified of when I post new readings so you don't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. You can check the description box below for all the information you need on personal readings, all kinds of stuff down there. So thank you for that also. All right, so, wow, <laughs> too many, it's too many. And I just wanna say thank you to everybody who supported the channel in any way. Truly appreciate it, couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you. I think that's enough here. So let's see what the tarot has to say. We'll do the bottom of the deck. The Empress. So Emperor Empress doesn't matter here. So knowing your value, your worth, what you truly want, desire, what you deserve, and standing up for that. The wheel. Wow, we got the wheel twice. So <laughs> heavy Sagittarius energy here. Heavy fate, destiny, divine timing here. Go, things going in a better direction. You know what you're worth now. You know what you want. You know what you deserve. You're not going to accept anything less. And fate, destiny, and the wheel here is going to bring in for you what you truly deserve and desire because you now know who you are and what you want and desire. Queen of Cups energy. So, yep. So, definitely... You know, very watery energy, love, emotions, feelings, nurturing, caring, giving. Nurture yourself first. Don't forget to love yourself and take care of yourself. If this connection moves very quickly and you find that uh, you don't have enough time for you, make sure always take time for you because you are an empress here. So taking care of yourself as much as you may want to nurture, care, and give to them. Also, don't forget about yourself. But we do have love, emotions, and feelings here with the uh, Queen of Cups energy and the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like, you know, this is a very stable connection. I think um, Four of Pentacles is also an energy maybe of holding back, holding on yet holding back. 
So there may be a period still. I mean, that could be the past energy of people holding back and not really giving into the connection, but not, you know, not being able to let the connection go either. It's kind of like the Four of Pentacle energy. And now we have justice. So again, you know, things turning for the better. Things uh, being just and right and balanced. Balance, balance the scales here. Truth, clarity. So truth, clarity, justice is coming in and balance. And now we have the Three of Cups energy, which is over here too. So we have another double energy here with the Three of Summer, Three of Cups energy. And again, I feel like some kind of celebratory event of some kind, whether it's just a Christmas party, whether it's a gathering, an event, or something here where people are celebrating and having a good time. And strength. So there you are. Wow, there you are. So I feel like, wow, this is going to be a very strong connection. Also, um, knowing, you know, to have willpower here, the power to hold back when you need to, um, endurance, willpower, strength, being brave and courageous, and a very, very strong, deep connection here. It could be a very strong sexual connection also between the two of you. I think this person is really going to want to like put you up on a pedestal and just like love you and like cherish you because they're going to see how strong you and confident you are as with the strength energy also and being that empress's birth of new things here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Ten of Wands. So, you know, and we do have ten over there with the wheel. So, so you know, that is about, you know, releasing burdens here. Maybe a lot of sexual tension between the two of you. And I feel like you may want, to, may feel that need to just, like, want to just jump in the sack to release that tension here with the Ten of Wands. is about releasing burdens that no longer serve you. Or it could just be, you know, releasing all the past energy um, was not serving you or the situation or the connection. I think you can be very, very, very tempted to like just attack one another, but this is telling you here with strength that you could tame the beast from within. Maybe better to wait than to just jump right in here. That you can tame that inner beast, that uh, sexual desire, that passionate desire here. Because you are an empress, so kind of energy being in a more loving energy and the four of pentacles you know is about stability growth taking things slow and practical slow slow stable growth and um moving forward wow leo so <laughs> i hope that resonated for you uh good luck to you and i'm sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light